Hey guys, Vintage Cards here, back with another uh, addition to the 53 Tops collection. And this is obviously a hint, it is going to be uh, George Kell, who was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, he was a Veterans Committee selection back in the early 80s, but um, I just love this card. This, this is uh, 55 Bowman. He's actually with the White Sox, but I just think it's a really, really great shot with the glove and the ball, and um, he looks like he's having a good time. So that's what baseball's about, right? So that's the um, 55. Just bought it for fun, and I've remembered that I had actually gotten uh, George Kell as a uh, TTM back in, oh, I don't know, could have been 95, 96, 97, around then, but that was cool. I, I remembered I still had that uh, on these baseballs all-time greats. And talks uh, on the back, gives his career numbers. He had uh, 2,000 hits, almost 400 doubles. Uh, not a home run hitter, but hit for a very high average, actually, 306. So an excellent, um, you know, singles and doubles hitter, and allegedly a pretty good fielding third baseman. So I had looked up, um, done a quick bit of research, since he had that, that 300 average, I knew not a ton of guys hit 300, actually, but you kind of take it for granted. Um, and especially at a sort of premium position like third base. So you might be surprised. Here's the all-time all -time batting average leaders for third baseman. And not too surprising, Wade Boggs, <laughs> highest of all time, 328. Pi Trainer, the old uh, Pirates third baseman, he hit 320. And then only a few other guys, well, one other guy above Kel, and that is uh, uh, Frank Home Run Baker hit 307, and George Kell 306. So he actually has a fourth highest, uh, fourth highest batting average of third baseman. So I don't know if he's deserving of the Hall of Fame, but that's a pretty, uh, pretty impressive stat. He played for 15 years. Uh, seemed like a popular. Uh, popular ball player, especially for the Detroit Tigers, where he spent most of his career. But his 53 tops card actually depicts him with the Red Sox. Here it is. So he just played, uh, I think, like two or three years in Boston after like seven in Detroit. Uh, but he was still pretty good with the Sox uh, before going to uh, going to the White Sox to finish out his career. And then I think he played, what, a year with the Orioles maybe? But um, this 53 uh, Topps card was actually, <laughs> took me a while to get for um, whatever reason. Just couldn't find one. And, you know, it's pretty fair, good condition. But uh, that's all. That's all fine as far as I'm concerned. So, there's a look at it. At least it's centered and also there's not, uh, there's like no snow um, or surface issues on it, which is real common, like all sorts of junk on his face, whether in the printing or just when, you know, they came out of the, fat, out of the uh, packs back in the day. So George Kell, Hall of Famer, and I would say all-time great Detroit Tiger. Um, he won a batting crown in Detroit. He led the American League in hits a couple times. So definitely an excellent, excellent ball player. And I was glad I found the uh, the autograph I got of him back in the day. So that's it for the 53 Tops edition. And thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.